Alright, hi viewers, I'm making an executive decision. Screw with the steel pipe, I'm using handgun now. Sounds good. Yeah, I mean, I have like 250, whatever, it doesn't matter. I have so many bullets, I got so much love, and uh, handgun makes me feel safe. How you want to phrase any of that is up to you. I'm just I'm just listing what I have going on here. Anyways, what do you have to say? Um, I just kind of threw you under the bus right there in the middle of like a, a whole situation where it's like whatever. Well, I'm actually kind of curious more about Eddie now that we've seen him again. Okay. I mean. His, his thoughts on how easy it is to kill someone. Yeah, you know, you just put the gun up to the head and then bang, bang, bang. Well, I mean, essentially what James is doing. Yeah. But the way he... And then he gets dog bark. Yeah. Oh, by the way, um... Handgun might be a little loud if you want to turn it down just a little bit. You know, the microphone kind of picks up the, on that stuff. Yeah, there we go. I just realized that. Try not to make anyone go to... Also, Apple. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's, it's a really weird word, but apparently it's like a syringe with uh, some sort of fluid sample inside of it. I, yeah, let's, let's look it up. I, lo I looked up a little bit. So, here's Toluca Lake, you know, the main town's attraction. This is basically talking about the lake, a little bit of backstory, because, you know, it may seem like a typical ghost story that you might find in any number of old towns, but in this case, the legend is true! You know, people people went missing. Tourists went missing in the 19, eight, in 1918. You know, they felt to return to port. Disappearance. Strange things. Um, apparently, 14 bodies were never recovered, even to today. And in 1939, there was an even stranger... It's, it doesn't matter. Point is, many corpses rest at the bottom of the lake. Their bony hands reach out towards boats that pass overhead, perhaps reaching out for their comrades. Kind of cool, I guess. And that's not really the real reason you come in here. The real reason you come in here is for the back room. You see, in the back room, we have salvation, it, which in, it comes in the form of handgun bullets. And that's, that's interesting that you equate violence with salvation. When you said salvation, I would have thought health items. Well, I mean, you got rifles, stuff like that. No, but but the, the real... You got the hunting rifle. You see, that's the real salvation. But I mean, I mean it, but that's that's an interesting thought process that you view the... the um, guns and the ammo as salvation rather than... A Holy salvation. crap, that just came out of nowhere. Rather than a no amount of salvation is going to help me there. First Sorry. Aid. Well, I mean, here's what I say. Safety. Safety is important. Health is nice, but see, if, you, if you're if you left helpless, it's not going to save you. Gun is going to save you. It's going to protect you from basically all, all, all of this. Well, maybe not acid spray. I think it's just an interesting idea of salvation. Listen, salvation through violence. I mean, perhaps. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not saying anything that you said is wrong. I'm just saying it's an interesting perspective. Okay. Listen, listen. I don't care even if you were. I mean, you did you did bring it up. You know, handgun bullets. Also, we got tablet. That wasn't where I was going with that. I was just gonna say you brought it up a while back that you know, I, I need the handgun bullets for the kids. Well, I had brought up salvation in the form of a save point. Yeah. Before I didn't well, say, it, with yeah. the color red. So I mean, I, it could be argued that the handgun bullets are an extension of that salvation, given that they also produce red. It's very possible. Okay. Uh, first thing to note is yeah. we have an open cell with handgun bullets. Why? How? I don't know. But I mean, hey. Also, you might know. Uh, this isn't it. We got a wax doll, which is kind of nice, but you might know about the prisoner who is an invisible enemy. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm basically. Alright, the succubi. That's interesting. The fallen angel? Oh, no. I'm sorry. That thing is here. See, I forgot. When you when you read something, it doesn't necessarily mean you're safe, you know? It's not like it pauses the game. You're still. That, it should. 
I know, you figure it would, but everything's technically still moving. It's like dead space in that set. I mean, that it, it's realistic and fine, but... As long as this thing don't move, you know what? It's fine. I still hear it. I still hear no, it. No, there's things. There's things in the uh, the cage, cages. Oh, okay. It's in the cells. On sacrifice. And are of demon. Okay, are they going Shimagami Tensei here? Is that what it is? This is a demon summoning program. Dot exe. Defeated the succubi the fallen angels of mercy and favor. I, I, you know, it's religious babble, in my opinion. You know, I don't know, black, black magic, magic from, from the abyss. abyss. Resurrection of the dead. I'm good, bro. What is, wait, 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 stay on that word for a second. I want to take a look. On, um, Chronicles of Agrippa? Yeah. Okay, the Chronicles of Agrippa. Okay, I have it so you can move on to, like, Okay. So. Yeah, you know, this is how I feel. I'm kind of with James on this. I guess I shouldn't worry too much about these. So, Marcus Vipsanius Agrippa was a Roman consul, statesman, general, and architect. Um. So, I, I'm not sure that's what. We don't wait. Here's another. So apparently, there were a lot of people named Agrippa. Okay. All right. So that was a fairly common name. Yeah. Oh, it's. It has a mythological reference. That's probably what it's referring to. It's very possible. All right, if I remember correctly, this is a good place to go. This is a good place to go because, uh, well, you have you have a lying figure here. He tries to spray you with acid, but you get the rifle shells, and really, that's the only thing I go in there for because those are great. You know, they're we're talking like end game high velocity shot rounds. You know, they they hurt. Nothing's gonna help you in that case. So, uh, just for the record, Agrippa is the grandson of Venus. Oh. Which I think is pretty important given that Venus was the, um, goddess of sexuality and romance. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Wasn't, um, Cupid, like, her son or something? Yep, Cupid was her son. Um, but that is not the son that Agrippa was born from. Tablet of the uh, Presser. No, I didn't, I don't want to click on that one. Um... Oh, actually, I think I'm wrong. She might, was she? Oh, no, no, no. She's like great, great, great. He's like the great, 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 several greats grandson of Venus. Sorry, not not just the grandson, but several greats. And, and he's the great, several greats grandfather of Remus and Romulus, who were the founders of Rome. Huh. I, I, uh, I'd just like to know I was stuck in that cell. I could not open it until I, I, I don't know, until the cube, essentially. So, I'm not finding anything particular yeah. about him. I do think it's worth noting, though, about Venus, given that uh, this is going to relate to a conversation I had with my coworkers when we were talking about mythology. I'm in the courtyard. Yep. When I first played this, this scared the shit out of me. I, I, I'm sorry. It's like, uh, supposedly there's, like, hoofbeats that come close and then they, they go out. Um... But, I don't know, there's something interesting about this puzzle, except I don't think it's actually as fitting as I thought it was. Uh, but I guess, I guess I can talk about it a little bit. So, something that James, yeah, Angela, and Eddie happened. have in common is that you can actually kind of narrow them down to a single sin. For instance, Gluttonous yes. Pig could be representative yeah, of Eddie because Gluttony. Yes. Uh, seductress could be representative of James simply for the fact that his sin I would narrow down to lust. Yes, I would agree with that. Uh, but what about Angela? Angela, she's a little harder to describe, but I would have to say if any sin represents her, it would be wrath. Yeah, I was thinking wrath, too. I mean, because that's really the only thing that fits with Angela, especially in the sense that uh, a lot of her theme has to do with revenge. Yeah. And I, I find it very justifying, but I feel and, like we should address that more when we get there. All I'm going to say is, if any sin would be to represent Angela, it would definitely be Wrath, in my opinion. Given, given how she sees Silent Hill, which, yeah. like you said, we'll get to that point, but I think that kind of coincides. And so I always found it interesting about these tablets, because uh, I, I guess for the oppressor, it kind of has to relate more to her family. Yeah, but it still has uh, I guess the seductress can also kind of represent, like... Uh, Mar Maria, or like Mary, or I don't know. It, it, I don't know. I, I'm just saying, like that puzzle seems to be kind of iconic of the characters. Yeah. But it's a little. It, you you kind of have to stretch it. It's not as fitting as I, I'd like it to be. 
No, no, not you. He's blocking the way. You know what? Get out. I gotta reload. Okay. My point is, you know, this guy, I just, I need him to go down so I can, like, do that. Because, uh, we're, we're good. If it, if it isn't made apparent, if you want to know what we're doing, basically, we have a puzzle. Um, also, I need to find where the door is. That's not even the right door. Okay. I apologize. Apparently, I went the wrong way. But I have oh, to... Oh, God. That's creepy. Yeah, yeah. These lying figures, they're really not that bad, but they do move very, uh... Very creepily. Anyways, what a, what the real objective of the prison is, is you're gathering components, and it doesn't make a lot of sense right now, but it will in a second, because you'll see why we have a wax doll, which, you know, that in itself is questionable if you ask me, but I'm not going to focus too much on that. Uh, the horseshoe is also kind of questionable, but we did get a lighter, and you might not understand how these items relate to getting to the next area, but like I said, you will. It's right through here. You see, as far as I know, all these things are kind of locked. Like, you can, yeah, you can try to do whatever, but, like, you're not going to really succeed. Uh, what you have to do is you have to look at this thing, right? And you're like, okay. there's a cover on the ground, but I can't open it. Oh, I see. So you have to melt the wax and then stick the horseshoe on top yeah, of it. Yeah, we, have, we it have to MacGyver a handle, essentially. Gotcha. Yeah. So that's, that's why we've been gathering a lot of random components. Now, something else that I should know is combining, and I said this, I said this earlier, uh, combining items is a little confusing because, you know, you have to combine them and then you have to hit the use command and it combines them all. And there you go, like that, we got a makeshift handle. You have to wait forever for that wax to dry though in order to really be able to pull that up. Yeah, but video game logic. True. So. Uh, with that, we descend past the prison. At least I think we're past the prison. I'm just going to reference my notes real quick. Um. Hello, James. Oh, yeah, okay. Now we're at the part that you were thinking of. I can't really do anything here. All these things are just kind of... They're, they'll, decoration. Just say, they're yeah, they're decoration. It's going to say the lock's broken. That's, the, that's what I was going to say. Don't you love Silent Hill and its locked doors? Yeah, but there's a little bit of detail. I guess we could kind of pad out the part. Because, oh, I mean, when are you really going to take all this in, you know? Nauseating, rotting, rotting flesh. You know, let me tell you something. That probably smells wonderful. No, I'm, I'm being sarcastic. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I want to make this clear, you know, I, I, I don't like... I don't like decomposition. It's terrible. It's gross. Grody. Okay. Anyways. Now. I love that he just kind of throws himself into all of these holes without. Yeah. He doesn't really. You don't really see him like second guessing. Like. Huh. Maybe this is a bad idea. He's just like. Nope. Da 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 da. Yeah. He doesn't hesitate for even a second. He's just like. Okay. Time to go. Time to go. Which. I, again. I mean like. I, I would chalk it up to how disconnected he is. I mean, it doesn't seem like it would be rationally even, even like, even though you're disconnected, like, this would even be semi-rational, like... Yeah. Like, you, you would pause for a second and be like, wait a second, is this really the best idea? Yeah. But no, I mean, like, I feel like James is this far gone into his disconnected with reality and, like, everything that literally nothing matters to the point where, like, that that's... That's, that's a pretty painful way to go, too, if he's... If this is going to key into, into his own suicidal tendencies. Yeah. And I mean, like, that... Like, it's, it's definitely going that way is a form of punishment. And I mean, like, this also ties into how all three characters are connected. Yeah, that's true. I mean, like, it, it, the thing you have to understand is all three have issues, and they're, and they're relatable in, in kind of, like, their own style of, like, what the issue is. I don't, I don't really see Eddie, but... Well, I mean, we'll get into that more when... I, uh, I still need to see his... Yeah. I yeah, know he has at least one more scene coming up, so I need to see that again. Yeah. I know there's, like, another bullet that I can... I, mi I think I missed something, that's what I'm trying to say, I think. That, or it doesn't matter, because, uh... You know, maybe I did pick up. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. Yeah, I probably am. But either way you look at it, I mean, I'm, I'm stuck on this elevator ride, so it's like, whatever... I'm stuck here. 
when this is done, I, I think I'll end the part. Yeah, yeah, I, it's, it, was it really necessary to have this long of an elevator ride? Well, I mean, I guess you and gotta take in all this riveting, um, these riveting features I mean, of that, the descent. Actually, right there is a good point. Why couldn't they have, win like, the windows don't have to be real, they can be open to interpretation, but even windows of, of something going on. Or, or maybe it's representative of how, uh, how far gone James is. Like, there is nothing to look at. Maybe. Maybe, maybe it's just he's so close-minded. I tend to think it was lazy. Like, we, I, I, we, need, we I, need to get to this point. I think you're on something. But I guess we'll have to interpret that in the next part. Let See me, you next time. It's gonna be really bullshit.